Monster Boy, and The Cursed Kingdom is a modern action-adventure game with six distinct forms. Fighting and platforming skills are included in the game, along with special equipment that opens up new routes and surprises. The game has hand-drawn graphics and more than 15 hours of epic adventure. The game takes place in a large, networked world where the main objectives are to defeat tough opponents, find secret places, upgrade strong gear, and unlock rare forms with exclusive abilities. In this turn-based strategy game, you command the Adeptus Mechanicus, the Imperium's most formidable army, against a variety of enemies. Your strategic decisions will have an influence on the outcomes of over 50 missions, influencing the lives of your men as well as the destiny of the Imperium. The game also includes Herotech DLC missions, which take place in the dark realm of Herotechs who have deviated from the Omnesia. Your actions have the potential to have disastrous implications for the Imperium's stability and humanity's existence. The game is an exciting journey in which players must navigate through difficult stages and conquer obstacles in order to discover hidden mysteries and gain new skills. They must learn the technique of gliding in order to locate hidden passageways in the sky. As players break away from the dictator's reign, the game provides a sensation of independence and liberty. It also delves on issues of power, tyranny, and the battle for liberty. The game flawlessly integrates gameplay and visuals to create an engrossing experience. Double Cross is an action-adventure game in which players take on the role of Zara, an agent of RIFT entrusted with keeping peace across all dimensions. They must gather evidence to track down the perpetrator and save the universe. The game has an adventure game feel to it, as well as a unique proton slinger system and a variety of attack and combo choices. The plot is complex, with a broad cast of interdimensional characters, and the graphic style is elegant 2D high definition, pulling inspiration from conventional gaming and anime designs. The game's pace is quick and thrilling, with frequent transitions from assault to rest and return, allowing for non-stop action. It combines classical techniques with a sci-fi premise to create a nostalgic world populated by nostalgic people. The game is a shoot-em-up shooter with basic rules, score, and difficulty level options. A shield mechanism is also included in the game for fast counterattacks. Players can pick between three game modes, traditional shooter original mode, advanced mode with power-ups, and time attack mode. Explore the forsaken realm of Penumbra, a long-forgotten place brimming with hidden mysteries. Explore magical temples, meet survivors, and complete missions for precious treasures. Slash through powerful foes, travel through uncharted places, and leap across lethal traps. In Penumbra, collectibles and objects abound, and players may improve their swords, gather amulets, and unlock new powers to become a strong combatant. The game also includes the void of forgotten place where players must locate entrances to abstract platforming puzzles in order to collect important treasures. Oceanhorn Two Knights of the Lost Realm is a massive adventure game that takes place a thousand years before the first chapter. Warlock Mesmeroth returns with a dark army, posing a difficult challenge to the protagonist. Trine, Arcadia's commander Archimedes' granddaughter and general a mystery robot join forces to confront Mesmeroth's dark armies. It's an epic RPG main quest, big monster encounters, hundreds of side missions, ingenious puzzles and mystery dungeons are all part of the game. The game's gorgeous, handmade visuals contribute to its one-of-a-kind experience. Bite the Bullet is a roguelite RPG shooter in which players must consume opponents, bullets, and other items in order to upgrade their character, weapons, and skills. They may play solo or in local co-op with pals, personalize their character with a rich skill tree, and gorge themselves on 50 levels. Players may also make unique new weapons, wield a shield, collect action hero bandanas, and morph into a strong Zombro form. The game has an engaging narrative, side quests, and a large, branching skill tree. Lila and her companions confront a threat from the Conductor's henchmen in this action-adventure game. They must bring the ethereal spirits together and save Sky Island from annihilation. 
uncovering secret facts, solving riddles, and participating in ferocious combat against animals and bosses are all part of the game. Players may employ alchemical concoctions to acquire new weapons and use boulders, titan eyes, and cluster bombs to explore a music-infused pixelated dreamscape. The goal is to save the intriguing Sky Island from certain catastrophe. Chris is thrilled to release his adventure platformer game inspired by the 90s, which depicts the narrative of his early exploits as a chubby boy in 95. The game has nine different settings, customizable skills, and an original platforming challenge. Players may level up Chris to become the ultimate hero. Combat odd adversaries and experiment with different difficulty settings, there are also two complete game modes, a funny mean mode and a detailed background. The game is full of chuckles and provides players with a unique and amusing experience. Res Please is a pixel art puzzle platformer with co-op and single-player modes. To overcome riddles and eliminate Dark Arcanum's armies, players must murder their trainee wizard brothers, Arkan and Zeph. The game has a unique co-op concept, with death happening anywhere and new spells unlocked to beat difficult difficulties. Players may personalize their gameplay by unlocking cosmetic items and completing hard gauntlet stages. The plot focuses around Arkan and Zeph, two trainee wizards who, despite their lack of magic talents, fight together to battle Dark Arcanum's evil forces. Lily is the courageous Knight of the Rose, overcome dangerous dungeons and riddles to save the Kingdom of Blossom from eternal darkness, collect one-of-a-kind weapons, potent spells, and priceless artifacts to kill monsters and solve riddles. The dynamic plot passed down through generations brings you back to a link to the past's nostalgic days. Over 15 hours of intense action, improved with high-definition rumble support and diversified gaming world, five tough dungeons, adjustable gameplay, and fighting style. In this platforming boss rush game, players must face huge enemies by using their agility to capture and annihilate weak places. The game features a group of warriors battling for humanity's liberty against Mega Mech's mechanical overlords. Its weapons and modifications such as magnet gloves for towering robots, boost boots for gravity-defying quadruple leaps, and a baseball bat for breaking Mega Mech energy cores can be equipped by players to improve their fighting skill. In this epic war for humanity's existence, players may confront the bosses alone or with pals in local co-op mode. Within the Blade is a stealth, platforming, and RPG game in which players assume the role of feudal Japanese ninjas. They gather resources to make weapons like as shurikens, poisons, elixirs, grenades, and mines. Japan's final shogunate loses authority, resulting in civil conflict. The Black Lotus Ninja Clan's mission is to undermine and protect against the villain and his demonic friends. Fast gameplay, 10 tough bosses, over 200 crafting recipes, and dramatic combat with beautiful animations are all included in the game. I Am The Hero is an exciting game that mixes the fast-paced action of vintage games with the charm of classics. It provides gamers with a nostalgic experience that transports them back in time. Players can participate in single-player missions or join forces in local co-op mode. All players may use their own fighting style to unleash devastating combinations and overwhelm adversaries. Critical Blink, a strong skill that allows players to deliver huge damage to adversaries by properly timing their strikes. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked any one of these games, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one. And stay awesome.